What time is it? It's four past nine. Mine says three past nine. It's a few seconds off. It's not a big deal. Well, a few seconds may not be a big deal in our everyday lives, but in other systems, there's need for very precise time measuring instruments. An example of such a system is the GPS system. So what do GPS satellites use to measure time with such accuracy? To measure time, we need something to store time. For example, the oscillations of a pendulum. If a pendulum is oscillating at a frequency of 1 Hz, we will know that 1 second has passed after it has completed one full swing. But a pendulum is not an exactly accurate way to store time, as it can be affected by physical conditions like wind. Hence, cesium atomic clocks are used on GPS satellites. Cesium has one valence electron. The interaction between the spins of the valence electron and the nucleus leads to a hyperfine structure, which is basically the splitting of the valence shell. If the valence electron absorbs radiation of suitable frequency, it can jump to a hyperfine level of higher energy. Since the hyperfine energy levels are quantized, that is, they have specific energies, the specific frequency of radiation required to cause a hyperfine energy level transition is a tremendously accurate way to store time as it never changes. Atomic clocks are based on this. The quartz crystal oscillator is tuned to vibrate at the hyperfine transition frequency. As the stream of gaseous cesium atoms leaves the oven, low energy atoms are deflected by the first magnet. The atoms that enter the microwave chamber are bombarded by microwaves and they switch to a higher energy state. If the detector is detecting a maximum number of high energy atoms, the frequency is known. But if the frequency changes, the detector will receive fewer atoms and it will send a pulse of electricity to normalize things again. All that for accurate time. That is not all. The cesium atomic clock loses one second in over 10 million years, making it suitable for use in space exploration. Similar to the GPS system, spacecraft navigation relies on a two-way system. A radio wave signal from Earth is sent to the spacecraft where it bounces back with a Doppler shift in frequency due to the relative motion of the spacecraft. Refrigerator-sized atomic clocks measure the time very accurately, and the shift in the frequency enables for the velocity of the spacecraft to be calculated. A signal with instructions is then sent back to the spacecraft. But it takes minutes to hours even for radio waves traveling at the speed of light to travel millions of kilometers through space to a spacecraft. This poses a serious problem for future crew missions as the astronauts not have immediate control of where they are going. Plus, an error of just one second could mean missing a planet by hundreds of thousands of miles. To solve this problem, last year during NASA launched the Mercury Ion Deep Space Atomic Group, which is small enough to watch a spacecraft, it was proven to be 50 times more stable than current atomic clocks. If it proves this accuracy in space, spacecraft navigation will become autonomous, such that we can pioneer our own space missions to other planets. Like we, opulent something about time and navigation. Stay safe.